Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a La Palma and Volcanic Update, Thursday, September 16th, around 4 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. Many people are interested in what we have to say here on the ongoing event in La Palma, and we'll bring you the latest information the best we can. Earthquake swarm triggers volcano alert on La Spain's La Palma. This alert happened two days ago. And that was right, raising the color code level to yellow. Now, according to Reuters, authorities on the Spanish island of La Canaria, La Palma, have warned that a sudden increase in seismic activity could herald a volcanic eruption in the coming days or weeks. Spain's National Geographic Institute has detected over 4,000 tremors in the so-called earthquake swarms. Now, what's important here is it said on Thursday there was no clear evidence for an immediate eruption, though warned the situation could evolve rapidly. More intense earthquakes are expected in the coming days, it said in the statement, with more than 11 million cubic meters, 388 million cubic feet of magma having seeped into the Cumbre Vieja in recent days, swelling the peak six centimeters, according to the Volcanic Institute of the Canaries, uh, as of Thursday. So here is that information coming from the Institute and the uplift. Uh, the majority of the magma was intruded here on the 13th into the 14th, and then it looked like a little drop down. And then since the 15th into the 16th, it has been gradually increasing. So that's the official data. And we reported on the drop down in earthquake activity last night, but that seems to have picked up just a little bit with over 50 quakes above two magnitude in the last 24 hours. Here is a chart of that information. And here we can see the chart that is showing uh, the depth of those quakes and the dates associated with them here. This is that drop down in activity last night. And then here we see a spike or an increase in activity uh, just moments ago with a quake occurring almost at the surface. What you should also see is that the quakes are getting closer and closer to the surface. And here we see the list of quakes. Just in the last hour, we've had one, two, three, just four quakes. Four quakes in the last hour. The hour before that, there were one, two, three, four, four quakes. So four or five quakes an hour happening now. What also is happening is we're getting some larger activity here in the last six hours, 2.1, 2.1, and the largest being a 3.1. And we've pulled that up here for you at a depth of six kilometers. So the largest quakes are now happening up near the surface, which would be indicative of magma near that region about to come out. When the quakes at this magnitude get about four kilometers, we should then see potentially movement in the crust and, well, an eruption. Now, instability of the Cumbre Vieja volcano is the biggest concern. A zone of fracturing may be located beneath the western flank of the Cumbre Vieja volcano, where this act earthquake activity is happening. And a lack of seismicity between eruptions indicates that the detachment is only activated by the intrusions of magma into the upper parts of the volcano. So this detachment is only activated by magma intrusions, which we know... Well, it's happening now, unfortunately. So that's bad news. More than half, now listen to this, more than half of the total subaerial volume of La Palma, that's the island, more than half of the actual island has been removed by landslides and erosion in just the past one million years. That's bad news. Very bad news. Now the vent in question is, Teneguilla, it's a monogenetic cinder cone. It's an event uh, which has been active once and has had uh, seismic activity there, situated on the southern portion of La Palma. And the last eruption was 1971 at VEI2. And here's that data. October 26, 1971, confirmed VEI2 from Teneguilla. So that is the type of... Uh, Volcanic eruption we should be expecting if one occurs around a VEI-2. Uh, we can also add to our data set uh, over here at the La Palma uh, Smithsonian Global Volcanism Program. There are all kinds of tabs here. You can check out the deformation history, uh, weekly reports, 
and other information they have on the volcano. I'm also going to leave you a list of the most recent papers. This is the one we shared uh, about three videos ago from Stephen Ward and Simon Day on the potential collapse and tsunami scenarios. It's the full PDF and the full paper. We also have several other papers pulled up here. One from Semantic Scholar, Oceanic Propagation of a Potential Tsunami from the La Palma Island, which you can take a look at, Modeling of the La Palma Landslide Tsunami, as well as the most recent paper, the La Palma Landslide Tsunami, Calibrated Wave Source and Assessment of Impact from French Territories. So dive in. Because, well, La Palma is not the only volcano we need to be worried about. Grimm's Boten on Iceland may be ready to erupt. We reported about a week or so ago on the joculip happening. A secondary joculip has occurred. And once that drains out, the pressure is released on the volcano. And it typically goes boom once every 10 years. So another thing we have to look forward to. One other piece of information I want to update you all on is the massive lava cave opening up at Fagradosfall in Iceland. It resulted in a lava flooding down into Natagi. Um, you can read all about it here at Iceland Geology. We'll leave you links below. We're watching the volcano closely for you, and that's a boom to science and knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when the mainstream will not report on the science facts. We will. Thank you to all of our one-time donors, our Patreons. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and we will update you as needed. That's a boom. Be safe. We love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>